In order to upgrade Rancher, we are going to need to fill out this information. We first need to find out the Rancher container ID, which is the container ID that Rancher is running on. We need to find the Rancher container tag, which is the current version of Rancher. We need to enter the URL that Rancher is running on. In this case, it's rancher.avancera.com. And we need the tag that we want to install. We are going to upgrade to the latest stable version of Rancher. To find the Rancher container ID, we will need to first SSH into the Rancher droplet. Once we've SSH'd in, we can find the container ID by typing docker ps dash a and these are the ones currently running uh, if I zoom out here a bit it'll be easier to see and the one that's up currently we can see this is the container ID so I will copy that paste it in and then to find the rancher container tag we need to go to our installation of rancher and at the bottom, we will see the container tag here. We'll go back to my Sublime text and fill it in. So it's v2.2.2. Once that's been filled out, we can copy all the information, go back to the droplet that Rancher is running on, and paste it in. We are doing it this way so we can reuse these variables later, as you will see. The first thing we're going to do is stop the currently running Rancher container. Then we will pull in the latest stable version of Rancher. Next, we will create a volume from the Rancher container that we just stopped. To do so, we will use this command. After the volume has been created, we will back up the data from the volume with this command. This can take a few minutes. Once the backup is completed, confirm that the file exists. As you can see at the bottom here, we have a backup of 2.2.4 with today's timestamp. Now that you've confirmed that the data has been backed up, you can start the new upgraded version of Rancher with this command. Now you can go back into your Rancher instance, give it a reload, log back in, and now you shall see that you have the latest version of Rancher installed. The final thing you have to do is go back into the droplet and remove the old Rancher container.